Hey there, welcome back to the dev channel, Max Codes. Today, I'm gonna show you how we can build out this UI Stack View app with images, and you're gonna be learning a lot about how to use things like Stack View Distribution, Stack View Axis, Stack View Spacing, and we're also gonna be covering a few things with UI image views, such as clip to, clips to bounds, content mode, and uh, basically just images in general, and how to constrain this all on the screen into one stack view with programmatic auto layout, okay? So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new Xcode project and let's choose single view app and I'm just going to call this stack view and I'm going to say images and then I'm just going to create that where I want to put it and then what I want you to do is go ahead and go into your view controller.swift and in this view controller.swift file what I want you to do like always is just change the background color to something like cyan or yellow just so we know our application's up and running and then while that's going, let's just say view.backgroundcolor is equal to dot yellow. I'm going to boot it up. All right. So with our project booted up here, let's go ahead and get our photos from unsplash.com. They're all free. You can go here if you want. You don't have to use photos if you want, but obviously we want to use some quality photos. I just got mine straight from the home feed or I can't even remember. I think I got mine from my profile likes, the ones I've liked. But yeah, feel free to go to my profile likes link in the description and get some photos. Uh, you don't have to use these photos again, but if you want, I recommend it because they're free and they're high quality. So yeah, do that. And then what we want to do is drag those photos into our project. So go ahead and go to your downloads or wherever you got those photos. And then what I want you to do is go to your assets here. I was in the UVU library yesterday and people were just airdropping me memes. I couldn't stand it. It was freaking funny. Okay. Anyway, just drag those photos in there. I've named them stack zero, stack one, and stack two. I recommend you name them the same just so that you can follow along easier. Stack one, stack zero, and stack two. And notice how they're all different kind of sizes. Okay. That's something I want to kind of make note of because we're obviously going to have them end up looking the same size in here, right? That's using uh, content mode and clips to bounds. Okay. So we have our app booted up. Let's go ahead and get a stack view on the screen by first declaring it up here. Let's just say file private let stack view is equal to UI stack view. And we're just going to set this equal to a function that's going to return or call itself. And then we're going to say let stack is equal to UI stack view. And then we're just going to say stack dot background is equal to red and then return stack. Okay. Let's go ahead and add this onto our screen and constrain it with programmatic auto layout. So what I want you to do is say view dot add sub view stack. And then we're just going to say stack dot height anchor. Okay. So it's stack view. Cause we called the actual variable stack view. Notice how we called it stack within it, but then we called the one we're using outside of that scope stack view. Okay. And we're just going to say stack view dot height anchor is equal to, or dot constraint is equal to constant. And we're just going to say view dot height anchor, your view dot height, sorry, view dot frame dot height. And we're just going to say minus a hundred. Okay. And then just say dot is active is true. And then go ahead and copy this line and let's just paste it here. And we'll say width anchor this time. And then we'll say view dot frame dot width minus 40. And then what I want to do is just center it on the screen, right? So we'll just say stack view dot center y anchor dot constraint is equal to view dot center y anchor dot is active is equal to true. And if you're looking for an explanation of UI stack view with pro without programmatic auto layout, like with storyboards, you can go to my YouTube channel where you're at now. And I have a video on that. I made it yesterday. All right. We're going to do center. It's like the login screen one. Okay. I'm going to call it center X anchor on this second one and center X anchor. Okay. So it's all centered. Now let's go ahead and set this property on stack in here set called translates auto resizing mask and constraints. Let's set it equal to false so that we can actually use programmatic auto layout. Make sure you add the sub view before activating these constraints or it will crash. But now that we have them on there, we can recompile our application and you should see it on the screen is just kind of like a red view. But yeah, let's just wait for that to boot up. And uh, three, two, one, we are good to go. Gucci gang. All right whatever. It's not showing it, but let's just go ahead and throw some items in our stack view. Cause if we press this button right here, you can see that the stack view is on the screen. It's just that for some reason, it's not like really allowing us to give it a background color. You'll see, see how it's right there. The stack views on there. I promise you it's just not doing anything with the background color. So let's get rid of the background color and let's add some images in there. Okay. So remember we have our images 
and they are called stack zero, stack one, and stack two, okay? Remember that and make sure they're called that in your project. And then what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna say let image view one, so IV one is equal to UI image view. And this is gonna take a image constructor and we're just gonna say image literal or however you wanna get that image in there. I'm gonna use image literals and I'm gonna select the image. And then let's go ahead and set some properties on this in a second, okay? So first thing we wanna do is just say, let's just copy these all. And let's say IV1, IV2. I guess they don't, it doesn't really matter what the image name is because we're using image literals, but. And then just put in, select the correct image, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is add these on into the stack view. So we'll just say stack view dot add arranged sub view. And we'll say IV1. And then we can just copy this a few times and say IV1, IV2, IV3. And then with that set, we can now recompile our application and you should see something on the screen. It's not gonna look too pretty because of how images kind of react naturally, but it's going to look pretty good, okay? So just go ahead and add it on the screen. Like it's gonna be there is what I mean. Okay, so you'll see our images or at least one image, right? Because the rest of the images are actually beneath that image. They're on there, they're just beneath it. So what we need to do is we need to kind of change the some properties on our stack view okay so we're going to talk about some stack view properties first one we want to do is say stack view dot distribution so stack dot distribution and read that description it says the dis distribution of the arranged subviews along the views axis okay so let's go ahead and distribute it differently let's say dot okay so it's not going to auto complete i guess right now but what we want to do is say fill equally okay so we want them all to kind of fill equally we want them to all have the same kind of height, right? Now, while this might work, it's gonna be hard to see with our images kind of how big they are, right? Because they're gonna go over and it's just not gonna look pretty, okay? See that, it just doesn't look great, stretched out and stuff. Let's go ahead and fix the content mode of our images and then you're gonna see that they kind of overflow. Right now you can see our stack view is, is uh, horizontal, which looks fine. You can change it to vertical right now if you want. I'm gonna keep it at horizontal for a second. Let's go ahead and say IV1 dot content mode is equal to dot scale. And we'll say aspect fit first. And then on the, the rest of them, we'll just copy that and we'll say IV2 and IV3. And you're gonna see that they all kind of look that way and they shouldn't, okay? All right, once that's compiled, you can see that it looks pretty nice, except for we don't really want these images to all be different sizes. So let's go ahead and change the content mode to scale aspect fill, scale aspect fill, and scale aspect fill. This will maintain the aspect ratio of the image while filling up the entire image view. So what's gonna happen is it's basically going to have parts of it that will be cut off, except for they're not gonna really be cut off yet, because we haven't set clips to bounce. So they all kind of overlap, which doesn't really look good. So what we need to do is we need to say IV1.clips to bounds is equal to true. IV2.clips to bounds is equal to true. And IV3.clips to bounds is equal to true. Next thing we'll do is we'll compile our application and you're gonna see that the images all look pretty nice. Now, typically what you'd wanna do is set the super view to clips to bounds is equal to true. You'd wanna set the clips to bounds on the super view to true because it would kind of clip it off because the image is contained in it. Now, in this case, the super view is the stack view. So what would happen is it would only clip whatever went off the stack view. So yeah, that image would be clipped off right there. But then this image, if it extended past that, it wouldn't be clipped off. I hope that makes sense, but if it doesn't just mess around with clips to bounds and you'll understand it further. That's really the only way you're gonna get a really good understanding of clips to bounds. But basically it's just gonna clip the sub view. So it looks good, right? Let's go ahead and change the axis of our stack so you can understand axis with stack view. Let's say stack.axis. It says the axis along which the arranged views are laid out. We'll say is equal to, and then dot, and there's two values here. You got vertical and you got horizontal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use horizontal, no vertical, because by default it's horizontal. Go ahead and swap that, and you're now gonna see that it's in the direction of what I showed you in the completed app. All right. So that looks good, but let's just wait for it to look good first. We have to see it, right? 
All right, that looks great. But now how do we get that spacing in between it? And that's where we can just say stack.spacing. So we'll say stack.spacing. You'll see it says the distance and points between the adjacent edges of the stack views or range subviews. We can set this equal to something like 40, 20, whatever we really want. And it's going to equalize that spacing in between it because we've already set distribution to fill equally, okay? All right, so that looks great. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the different types of distributions just to give you a good idea before you leave the video. Because I'm sure there's a few of you who came here to learn all about distribution and I didn't really explain all the different types. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. I explained axis, you got vertical and horizontal and I explained spacing, let's explain distribution a bit. Go ahead and hit dot and hopefully you'll see some options appear, okay? Oh, okay, they appeared. It takes longer when you're within here. If you were to do it in there, like stack view dot distribution, it would appear quicker. Okay, so we got equal centering. It says a layout that attempts to position the arranged subviews so that they have an equal center to center spacing along the stack views axis. Okay, so think about that. A layout that attempts to position the arranged subviews so that they have an equal center to center spacing along the stack views axis. Okay, so right now we have fill equally which is basically arranging it so they fill the available space on the, on the axis, right? The views are resized so that they are all the same size, okay? So I would imagine if we change it to equal centering, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get some space below and on top. Well, probably not because the images, we haven't really set a height. If we set the height to something like, if this thing is like, uh, however high it is, let's say 600 pixels, each of these images would be around 200 pixels without spacing, okay? So if we set it to something like, if we set the e image heights to something like 100, we'd have 100 pixels left in between each and on top and bottom, okay? So I hope that makes sense, and I hope you understand that. Let's go ahead and hit dot, and then let's go ahead and choose another option here. So we got equal fill. So fill is going to basically do the same thing. Again, all these are really going to do the same thing just because we haven't set explicit heights on our images. Okay. So go ahead. And what I would recommend is setting constraints on the images heights and messing around with that and then playing with distribution. And you will get an understanding of all the how all these work. So I really hope I gave you a good start to learning about stack views. And the reason I made this video, I'm going to change this back to dot fill uh, equally. But basically the reason I made this video is because I had, I made one yesterday with pro with uh, storyboards on a simple login screen, which I'll put at the end of this video or something. And, um, someone commented, please make more stack view videos, right? So you know who you are, homie, but yeah. So if you want more videos, like literally leave a comment on the video you're watching and I'll make a video on it. Obviously, if it's extremely complex, maybe it'll take me a little longer, but if it's just basics or explaining pretty solid concepts in iOS, I can make that in within the day, okay? So just go ahead and let me know in the comments what you wanna see, and I will basically make the video on that, okay? See you in just a second.